to have ass flashes. I went to this herbalist in um, Fort Lauderdale, and she gave me hormone mix and blood purifier. Mm -hmm. And it stopped for a year, and I started taking living business capital <laughs> for colon. I'm not here this on a day. No, the liver, no, no, the bear was what did it. That was what did that stuff. The bear. One more question. Uh, I'm taking the sea moss every morning. That's good. With banana, uh, apple. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Banana, the acid. Yeah. 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 Yeah and you put something acid in it, you have just adulterated it. <laughs> Eat it by itself. I'll sweeten it with some maple syrup. Don't put anything else in it. How about honey? <laughs> honey? <laughs> that stuff is deadly. <laughs> One of America's greatest musicians by the name of Eric Dolphin, bass clarinet. I met the brother, because I met him on train at the same time. This man, used to drink two tablespoons of honey every day because at the time in New York in the 50s and the 60s, honey was on the top of the list because the Bible talk about honey. But what the people didn't know, the honey the Bible talk about come from a natural bee. Mm. The bee that you have today is a hybrid animal. That honey is acid, it is sugar. It will give you diabetes. You tell a diabetic to eat that honey, she was going to have to send his sugar way out of whack. He died of a sugar attack in Germany. Eric Dolphy died with that honey. God did not make that bee. <coughs> the bee that makes the honey that is alkali is a small little fly. You Jamaicans have seen it. They make the honey in the trees, in, in, the, in the holes, and they go in the ground. Black America doesn't know that. That's why they could sell black America anything. Because the one thing you and I have as Caribbean, we grew up in the middle of the forest. We understand the forest. Black America understand asphalt. Right. They don't know the forest. So when you put something in front of a black American brother and sister, they are handicapped. They don't know. It's not that they couldn't know and they would not like to know, but the environment prevents them from knowing certain things. When we, on the other hand, we know. Like in Jamaica, they have the ikako or the, or the what, what do you call it, the sugar plum. Um, Coco plum, they call it June plum, yeah. and then they have the other one they call Dawns and Trinidad, the little yellow uh, oh, oh, oh. cherry, Dawn. Okay, America doesn't know these things. We have thousands of fruit that America doesn't know about. We could defend ourselves in the forest because when I went to Africa, the same thing I saw in the West Indies, I saw in Africa. Actually, yeah. look at that. You, you, you know what shining bushes? Yeah. Shining bush, right? It goes between the rocks. It's pretty. Smells good. Mm -hmm. You eat that. That stuff gives you energy immediately. I saw it in Guinea. I saw it all over Zimbabwe. But like I said, I came back disappointed because I found visiting 14 African leaders, 17 different countries, they look at me like I'm stupid. Oh, God. This is delicious, I said. Look at this. Is this how far glucose has traveled? And all these years, Dr. Sebi prides himself as being an African. And now that he's in Africa, they're looking at him as though he's less than equitable. I say, man, I'm in trouble. Yes. My question, you mentioned about Frank Clark's wife giving all these Bible.